Easy Riders, I'm Gary from Real Tours and this is Five On, the series on our YouTube channel in which we give you five minutes of trivia about a specific film. This episode is about Cool Runnings from 1993. Spoiler alert, this video will contain plot spoilers. Stop watch at the ready, roll film. At the time of release, Cool Runnings was the highest grossing live action film ever to be released by Walt Disney Pictures. Actual television sports footage from ABC Network covering the 1988 Winter Olympics was utilised for the film and edited into the finished picture. Contrary to the story in the movie, the Jamaican team was met with open arms by the international bobsledding teams. One of the other teams even went as far as to lend the Jamaican team a backup sled just so they could qualify. Disney's original wish list for the cast included John Candy as Irving Blitzer, however, the four bobsledders were completely different. It included Denzel Washington as Darice, Eddie Murphy as Sanka, Wesley Snipes as Yul Brenner, and Marlon Wayans as Junior. Eddie Murphy described the money offered to him to play the role of Sanka as pitiful. Cool Runnings was the final film featuring John Candy to be released during his lifetime, as unfortunately he died of a heart attack just five months later. Two films were released after his death, Wagons East in 1994 and Canadian Bacon in 1995. The Jamaican bobsled team finished in 18th place in the 1988 Winter Olympics. Doug E. Doug, who plays the role of Sanka, revealed in 2015 that he still has Sanka's lucky eggs as one of his most prized possessions. They were actually made of rubber. The Jamaican bobsled characters in the film were all highly fictionalised and not based on their real life counterparts. John Candy's character Irving Blitzer, the coach, is also fictional. Precisely 42 minutes into the film, the sound of a TIE fighter from Star Wars can be heard as the Swiss sled goes down the track. Of course, Disney would later purchase the rights to Star Wars. In Norway, the film was released in cinemas under the title Cold Buttocks. In reality, the Jamaican team's best run in the 1988 Olympics bobsled event was 58.04 seconds. However, in the film, their best time was 1.5 seconds quicker, clocking in at 56.53 seconds. Hip-hop legend Tupac Shakur auditioned for a role in the film, but he was unsuccessful. The president of the Jamaican Olympic Committee, M. Barrington Coolidge, who is portrayed by Winston Stoner in the film, claims that his country only participates in boxing, cycling and track events. However, Jamaica also had teams in table tennis and weightlifting in the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul. Cuba Gooding Jr., Felix Leiter himself, Jeffrey Wright and Eric LaSalle also auditioned for roles as one of the four bobsledders, but they were all unsuccessful. In the film, Darice claims to be able to run the 100m dash in 9.9 seconds. Carl Lewis won the gold medal at the 1988 Summer Olympics with a time of 9.92 seconds. The story of the Jamaican bobsled team also has a brief cameo in the 2015 film Eddie the Eagle, which is set in the same Winter Olympics. In one scene, commentators are heard talking about the Cool Runnings team on the radio. A musical version of the story was released, which includes many of the songs that appear on the film's soundtrack. The musical is called Rasta in the Snow. The crash scene at the end of the film, except for the close-up shots, was actual footage from when the team crashed during their final run at the Olympic Games. Contrary to the movie, the infamous crash wasn't due to a mechanical error, but more down to losing control of the sled whilst travelling at extreme high speeds. In the sport of bobsledding, adding weight to the sled is perfectly legal. In fact, sometimes it's a safety measure. Both two- and four-man sleds have minimum and maximum weights. The weight of the sled is calculated as the total weight of the sled and its crew. If the fully loaded sled weighs less than the minimum, it's perfectly legal to add weight to make up the difference. The film was made in both Canada and Jamaica. All of the Canadian locations were utilised first to take advantage of the heavy snowfall during the filming in Calgary. Once completed, the production moved to Oco Rios and Montego Bay in Jamaica. The Jamaican bobsled team qualified for the two-man bobsled at the 2014 Winter Olympics in Russia. The team called themselves Cool Runnings the Second Generation. Dudley Stokes, who was one of the original 1988 team, is today General Secretary of the Jamaica Bobsleigh Federation, and he said, I don't think the support for the team, like we've seen over the last three days, would have been sustainable without the ongoing appeal of the movie Cool Runnings. 
It is never explained or even mentioned how Sanka, when doing the push start, can keep pace with his three teammates who are all trained to be sprinters to an Olympic level standard. According to screenwriter Tony Swerdlow, the only line in the film that he didn't actually write himself was Sanka you're dead. This was the only line which remained from the original version of the script, which was completed by another writer before he came on board. Cool Runnings is the final film of John Candy in which he is clean shaven, as his final two films he has a full beard. And time is up. I certainly hope you've learned something new there. If you haven't seen Cool Runnings in a long time, then definitely be sure to go back and check it out. What film would you like us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below. We release videos weekly, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click the bell to receive notifications on all future videos. Keep it real.